So how do we configure payment terms in SAP ECC and also in SAP s on-premise? We go to transaction code OBB8. That's OBB8. And over here you can see that SAP already pre-ships a bunch of payment terms that we can utilize for our own purposes. Those terms of payment are used in SAP to both determine the due dates for payments and also possible discounts we can grant or we get granted. Let's actually create a new payment term from scratch. Normally what you would do is rather just click on one of the existing ones and then copy as as always. But let me now just click on new entries and we will go through the most important parameters we can set for the terms of payment. So first of all, you can see over here, we need to provide a four digit alphanumeric key. Let's just say it says it's at one to clearly identify our payment term. Then we have over here the sales text. So the sales text is nothing else than the short description of our payment terms. And we should only use this field if we are using the payment terms for customer accounts. So by the way, those two indicators over here, we can set the terms of payment for customers, vendors, or for customers and vendors. But if I would only select the vendor over here, not the customer, and insert a sales text, we would get an error because the sales text, as the name suggests, is only used for the customer side. Let's actually default this. For instance, let's say something like 10% discount. If we pay within 10 days, then we have 5% discount if we pay within 25 days. And then we have no discount if we pay in between 25 and 30 days. Then we have here the parameter called own explanation where we could provide an own explanation for our terms of payment. And this will be visible over here. So normally, as you can see, SAP defaults the values. We will see in a minute that this will fill accordingly. But if needed, we can overwrite by inserting an own explanation over here. You will see that this will now change to text. Yeah, but let me go to default again. Then, as I said before, we can say that the pay terms of payment are relevant for the customer, for the vendor, or for both. Furthermore, those here are some advanced topics we will talk about in another session. However, the default for baseline date is particularly important. You can see a no default, posting date, document date, and entry date. So no default would mean that we have to enter the base date for the calculation of discounts and so on manually during the invoice creation itself. The posting date, this one over here, it is the date on which a document will be posted into the relevant posting period. So the posting date has an actual effect on our accounting books. Then we have the document date. This date is also manually entered at the time of the data entry. So this date can actually be in the past, a current date, or even a future date. So normally when we create an invoice in our own system and we received this invoice from, for instance, our supplier, then the document date would normally be the date on which the supplier created his invoice. So we will look at the paper, for instance, and then just copy the date from there. The entry date is the only date that cannot be manually entered. So the system automatically picks the date of the server as the entry date. And the purpose here is to know when the document was entered in SAP, not posted to the financial system, so to say, but entered itself in the system. We will set the default for baseline date to the posting date. So once we post the invoice based on this particular date where we pressed the post button, the possible discounts will be calculated. Then over here, we can actually insert our discounts. So let's assume that if we pay in the first 10 days after receiving the invoice, then we get a 10% discount on the amount we need to pay. Or also in the other direction, if our customer pays within the first 10 days after receiving our invoice, then he will receive a 10% discount. Then let's say if we pay between 10 and 20 days, we receive a 5% discount and also for sure in the other direction for the customer. And if we pay in between 20 and 30 days, we will 
not receive a discount. As you've seen, I pressed enter and those three explanations over here filled automatically. As said, I could override by my own explanation. However, it's advisable to utilize the explanations pre-shipped by SAP. With that, you also see that we have a maximum of two discounts that we can grant or receive depending on whether we are interacting with a supplier or a customer. The third entry over here is not a discount, it just marks the limit up until which we need to pay. So if we exceed the 30 days with our payment, or on the other hand, if the customer does not pay us within the first 30 days after receiving the invoice, then this invoice would be overdue. Over here, there is one more important indicator called height entry in input help. If we set this indicator, then we won't see the payment terms when utilizing the input help, so the F4 on your keyboard when you are in certain transactions. This could be because there is a huge amount of payment terms and maybe some end users should not see all of the payment terms. We will talk about some more advanced topics like the baseline date calculation, installment payments, recurring entries and also those indicators over here in another session. But for now, what you have learned is that the payment terms consist of a four-digit alphanumeric key. We have the sales tax and our own explanation if needed. We can set whether this payment term is valid for customers, vendors or both. We set the default for the baseline date to calculate possible discounts. And here we distinguish between the posting date, which is the actual posting to our financial module, the document date, which is kind of a free text field, and the entry date, which is automatically set by SAP. And then we can insert up to two discounts and percentage rates over here. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos.